हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल टुडेज टॉपिक इज कैथर्सिस कैथर्सिस इज एक्चुअली द प्यूरिफिकेशन और पार्गेशन ऑफ द इमोशंस प्राइमरीली थ्रू आर्ट इन प्यूटिसिजम कैथर्सिस इज अ मेटाफोर यूज्ड बाय एरिस्टोटल इन द पोइटिक्स टू डिस्क्राइब द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ ट्रू ट्रेजेडी ऑन द स्पेक्टेटर्स द यूज इज डिराइव फ्रॉम द मेडिकल टर्म कैथर्सिस इन हिज पोइटिक्स Aristotle opines tragedy then is an imitation of action that is serious complete and of a certain magnitude in language embellished with each kind of artistic ornament the several kinds being found in separate parts of the play in the form of action not of narrative through pity and fear affecting the proper purgation of these emotions his exact meaning has been the subject of critical debate over the centuries the german dramatist and literary critic gotthold lessing held that catharsis converts excess emotions into virtuous dispositions other critics see tragedy as a moral lesson in which the fear and pity excited by the tragic hero's fate serve to warn the spectator not to similarly tempt providence tragedy then has a healthful and humanizing effect on the spectator or reader the audience experiences catharsis at the end of the play following the catastrophe in romeo and juliet romeo commits suicide by drinking the poison that he earnestly think juliet had tasted to the audience usually finds themselves crying at this particular moment for several reasons primarily it is because losing a loved one is a feeling that all of us share the audience and readers of macbeth usually pity and tragic central figure of the play because he has blinded by his destructive preoccupation with ambition